day we were in school, my computer teacher was all like, hey, check out this program that I found on the internet. So he's all like, do you think you can get a couple of group of people to join? I was like, sure. So I got three of my buddies, and that's how it first started, just four people. It starts in the first week of January, and you get six weeks to plan, design, uh, work, troubleshoot. In a school type setting, they don't get as much of the kind of the real world problem aspect of things. And that's what FIRST does. It gives them a real world problem to solve, and it, and it gives them all this stuff, and it says, hey, make something out of this stuff to solve this problem. FIRST stands for inspiration and recognition of science and technology. You're a member of a three-member alliance, and uh, you can work together with that alliance, and whatever points you score are our total points for the team. Like if you have three crates, then you multiply by six, and you have 18 points if you have a trash can on top. The noodles, if you're on the other side and you throw it, and it gets on the other person's field, and they don't push it back into the landfill, they minus a point from their score. If they're on your side and you push them into the landfill, you get a point. It's, it's a risky deal. You can also get a stack set with the golden totes into the auto zone with worth 20. We used an elevator lift for our robot. Felt that that was the best way to score points, so it's just you gotta strategize and decide which way is the best score points for your team. It kind of encourages that if you can earn those extra points to go out and talk to those other teams, make friends, and, and have a good time doing it. So even though it's like a competition, there's like a lot of collaboration going on, and that was kind of different than I expected. And so I really liked that, and I really stuck with it. We show off our robots, we have to, because they're just your baby. You know, I'd heard of robotics teams, but uh, I had, I'd never been to one. Had no idea of uh, all this happened this way. We did a lot with, you know, Home Depot parts and stuff we could find around a couple of the kids' houses, and it was uh, kind of a, a cool process to see how all that stuff came together. Get more help, it takes a lot to run a team. I remember one Saturday, I stayed from 10 to 10. People you see here really want to be here. My friend David, he was on the phone to his mom. His mom screaming, "What are you doing? It's already past 11. What are you doing?" I told her, "Dave, give, give me the phone." And she's, she's kind of screaming at me. I'm like, um, "You can't. You don't understand. We're really dedicated on this role. We really need him here. He's the one who's doing the wiring." Those most stressful times is when I really get to see the best side of my teammates because I really get to see how dedicated they are to first. See how like something we all designed and did, and out there on the field, tearing it up, amazing. Our team as a whole is really strong because we have those certain parts of it that mix together. You find out what you really, really like. Like, I hate programming. I can't do it. And so we have the programmer that can do it, and so he works on that. And then, like me, I do the electronics part of it right now, and really, that's my foot's in it. I want to say it feels more like a little family because we're here and there and we're like, hey, you need some help here? And they're like, yeah, I need help here. And then we'll just all collaborate. Yeah, like a family. We fight, we eat, and we laugh like a family. It's hard when everybody thinks they have a really good idea to communicate what it is and then still listen to others' ideas because everybody, I mean, at the end of the day, we all have the same goal, which is to build a working robot that can win regionals. We've had to scavenge for tools for the past three years, we've had to do all that. It hasn't been since the past year that we've gotten like really organized. If we cut it on here, it's probably made like a jigsaw. It's not laser cut or anything. And like as we progress, so does our robot. You're like, that's amazing how they were able to come together and do that without having a CNC manufacturing thing, without having drafting, without having you know, carpentry to set up the game field for practicing. We started in Dallas without a working robot and we got to fourth place and so we were really excited about that. And then a robot broke and, and stuff and so we're, we're trying to work back up to that point. You know, our hard work, hopefully all the hard work will finally pay off. And if it does pay off, awesome. If it doesn't, well, at least we can go to college saying we tried everything we can. You see, you come here to the FRC events and people are like jumping up and down just to see a match start. I think that's probably, most of, the, probably the best part about this place. No matter what age you are, you can always get involved. Every adult on our team has a niche that they fill and it's just working together and sharing their expertise with us. It helps us a lot as a team. This is definitely like cemented my interest because I wouldn't know. I mean, I didn't know what a motor controller was when I was a freshman, but 
all this engineering knowledge that I'm getting, yeah, it's definitely going to help. Well, first has actually changed my entire life. It's helped me figure out what I want to do for college. I didn't think I wanted to be an engineer when I first started first. I had my own goals in mind. No matter what job you go to, you may have something and you can use the skills you've learned here. You may be the only person qualified for the job for it at that point and you will know what to do and how to step up. That can help you like move up and be successful. First has changed my entire career. You know, I wasn't really sure I wanted what I wanted to do, but after I've joined Team Scream, engineering all the way. You never know when you design something like its actual potential, how far it could go, and that's just the, what's so awesome about it. Well, I could use one of their famous quotes, it's the hardest fun you'll ever have, something like that, but really it's the truth. This will be the best time of your life, I promise you. If you get involved, you will not regret it.